Hey, Mr. Wiseman here. Today's lesson is on ratios and percents. You'll learn to express ratios as percents and vice versa. A percent is a ratio that compares a number to 100. And we can do this in a couple different ways. We could do it as a ratio. 75 out of 100. We could do it with a symbol, the percent symbol. Some of you probably have seen this on your um, electronic devices, how much battery life is left. You can do it in words, 75%. Or you could do it as a model. You might remember this from um, first, second, third grade. Here we have a model of 75 squares being uh, highlighted out of 100 in a 10 by 10 grid. Now, percent actually is derived from some of your stems. Per means through, and that is from your seventh list of stems. And the other part of this, this word that's a stem is cent. And, of course, cent is, means 100. So percent is through 100. Now let's look at a few examples. Express each ratio as a percent. Here we have 6 out of 40 people walk to work. Anytime you want to look uh, or find the percent, you need to write the problem in the form of a ratio or essentially a fraction. Now you could divide the numerator by the denominator. Or you could also use what's called the percent proportion. This is later in your book, but it actually works out here very well. So 6 over 40, 40 is how many people there are in total, or through 100 of the people, through 100% of the people. That's where the 100 is being matched up with. So we're looking for that segment out of 100, when we're looking for x. Once we have it set up this way, it's just a matter of cross multiplying. So 40 times x is 40x, and 6 times 100 is 600. From here, we need to divide both sides by 40. Of course, the 40 will cancel each other out over here, so we'll be left just with x. On the right-hand side, 40 goes outside of our bracket. 600 goes on the inside. 40 goes into 60 one time. 20 left over. I have to drop down that 2 there. Or, I'm sorry, the 0 there. And then 40 goes into 200 five times. So our answer for... A here is 15 percent. Now another alternative to this method is writing your fraction and then taking this and dividing it into itself. So 40 or 6 divided by 40. The thing with this is you're gonna to have to deal with decimal points at that, this point. If you're comfortable doing this feel free to do it. There's nothing wrong with it. If you're not terribly comfortable with dealing with the decimal points, I would stick with the percent proportion that I just showed you. With that method, you're not going to have to deal with decimals, or very. it's going to be very unlikely you're going to have to deal with decimals. But once you have it set up this way for this particular style, it's the same process. 40 goes into 6 zero times. You need a decimal point. 40 goes into 60 one time, 20 left over, drop down a two, uh, 0, and then it goes into a 5. So from here, you'll actually need to convert your decimal point into a percent. Not terribly difficult. If it's something, if it's a method you prefer, then go for it. If it's something that 
doesn't really appeal to you, then I would, again, stick with the percent proportion. Let's look at another example. One out of every four people in the United States is younger than 18. So, again, the first thing we want to do is write this in the form of a fraction. One-fourth. Now, for this particular problem, you may just re automatically realize one-fourth, well, that's just 25%. But, just so we can prove it mathematically, I'll go ahead and put it in the percent proportion. Cross-multiply. One times 100 is 100. 4 times x is 4x. I'm going to divide 100 by 4. And there I've shown through the math that it is actually 25%. Now for this example, express each ratio at, or fraction as a percent. Here it's written in a ratio format. So we first need to write this as a fraction, 6 over 8. If I want to write this as a percent, I can again use that percent proportion. x over 100. Across multiply, 6 times 100 is 600. 8 times x is 8x. And then just divide. 600 divided by 8. We'll go into it 7 times 56, 4, 0, 5. So 75% will be my answer. Here the numbers are already written in a fraction for us, 4 fifths. And using percent proportion, 5x over four, uh, equals 400. 400 divided by 5 will be 8, 0, and then a 0 there for a placeholder. 80%. Now we're going to express each percent as a fraction. So 20%, that's 20 per 100. Basically, we're just replacing that percent sign with 100 in our denominator, per 100. So 20 over 100. With all our fractions, we always need to put them in simplest form. One-fifth. They both had common factors of 20. So I divided both the numerator and denominator by 20. Okay, 28%. I'm going to put that 28 over 100. I know the factors of 28 are 2, 4, 7, and 28. Uh, obviously, 28 can't go into 100, 7 can't either, uh, 4 can, so I'm going to divide both the numerator and denominator by 4. I could have certainly done divided, uh, divided by 2 and then reduced again. So 28 divided by 4 is 7, 100 divided by 4 is 25. So our final fraction for that is 7 25ths.